actors how to be handlers so that they can give the commands on stage. And that way, when Dorothy's singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow, Dusty is looking at her lovingly and... <laughs> Because the sides of the stage are pretty far away. Sure, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, who's who was the actor who said, when you work with a dog, you better have a good take every time, because once the dog gets it right, that's the clip they're going to use. <laughs> I'm not sure who said that, um, but uh, I've experienced that a little bit. It's more For live theater, it's more about, I mean, you have to have a good first take every time anyway. Right. But I've had dogs in rehearsal who are like, well, I know what I'm doing, so... I'm done. <laughs> so they do it once. She can, and... she can keep up. <laughs> uh, when does the under, understudy come in? What, what, what would be some of the reasons the understudy would come in? Um, I may put the understudy on in the middle of the show oh, at really? some point just to give Dusty a little break, especially in this heat. Right. Um, I, I mean, she's a newer dog, and so anytime she gets an opportunity to get on stage, that reinforces her training. So yeah. I look for little moments like that. How old is how old is the dog? Dusty, I believe, will be nine this year, this summer. And she was rescued from the Cairn Rescue um, when she was two years old. Really? Mm -hmm. So she's rescued, and now she's a star of stage and screen. She sure is. Now, does she go around the country performing in Wizard of Oz all around the country? She does. She's been on national tours. She's been in plenty of regional productions. And she's also a TV star. She is Flipper in um, Mr. Robot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so your company are the agents for the dogs. Yeah, essentially, agents and trainers. And, and trainers, and, yeah. and when somebody needs a dog on stage, they call you, and yeah. you go from there. Yes. How many dogs or animals do you have in your stable? Uh, Bill currently owns probably around 35 dogs, um, and at least two or three cats, and a donkey, and some pigs, and <laughs> how, I think a horse. How many totos do you have? Let's see. Um, well, we have... Four working totos of this coloring, the traditional coloring that you know from the movie. Right. Um, one retired. And then we have two. They're in the south of France now. Hang on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. pretty much. <laughs> um, and we have two blonde um, Karen Terriers that we that Bill used in the Wiz Live. Really? Mm -hmm. That was really, how long does it take to teach a dog how to do the whole show? I guess once you learn it, you know it, right? So yeah. that's what's valuable about it. It depends on it depends on the show and the behaviors that the dogs need to learn. Um, a show like The Wizard of Oz, the, the dogs will be in development for six months to a year or, or more. Really, um, it's it's a lot a, of training. It's going a on. pretty demanding show, yeah. and that's a reason why they start kind of as an understudy and get some opportunities to go on stage gradually. Gotcha. Now, uh, what are Toto's uh, demands? Does she have to have uh, green <laughs> M and M's in the in the uh, in the dressing room? Uh, no, she likes fluffy pillows and belly rubs. Belly rubs, okay. And that's, for this, for this uh, Toto, that's pretty much all it takes. I heard she was a bit of a diva and had some issues with the staff. <laughs> no, no. No, all no, right, no, no. all right, fair enough. It's kind of a, it's kind of a mangy dog. Right? Yeah, I mean, well, the... she's meant to look like a farm dog. And uh, she also has to maintain her haircut for Mr. Robot. <laughs> oh yes. Okay. So she's in. She's in dual rows. All right. Uh, to so wow. That is really. Who knew? Right. Who knew? Who knew? I had no. I had no idea. What a great story. All right. Rochelle Smith. Wizard of Oz runs through when? June twenty second. Uh, I was there Tuesday night. Uh, it was a great night. How's the show? It's fantastic. Um, it's one of the biggest shows that I've been a part of, and I think certainly Dusty, too, and just the sheer size of it. Sure. Um, and You don't have anything like the, uh, the Muni in uh, New York, do no, you? No, not quite. Not quite that, on that scale. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm really proud of the dog's work, and the actors are fantastic, dancers and musicians. It's just a really, really beautiful show, and we're happy to be a part of it. Have you had a chance to explore St. Louis at all? A little bit. Gone down to the much. Arch at all? I have been to the Arch before, not okay. this trip, but right. I've been there before. What about Ted Drews? Have you gone to Ted Drews? No. Oh, come on. you got to get her to Ted Drews. Come on now. It runs through uh, June 24th, did you say? Second. June 22nd. Second. So you have between now and June 22nd okay. to go down and get some frozen custard. <laughs> Rochelle Smith, the handler for Toto in The Wizard of Oz at the Muni. Uh, what's the next show? Is it 42nd Street, which is another one. This year's uh, season at the Muni is... 
in my humble opinion, the best. Uh, Rochelle Smith, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. 844 here, Big 550, KT.